congratulations on your win. Thank you. After all the talk that was on the stage yesterday, did you feel that you executed everything that you wanted to do? Yeah, I mean, I I, uh, I fucking finished the fight. I made him bleed. I didn't put him out, which I wanted to do. He tapped, which is okay, though. Like, all respect, you know. Talking is talking. And uh, when we're actually in the cage and the emotions are out of it, you know, it's just me fighting a guy I don't really know. So I was just kind of happy to end that chapter. And, yeah, you know what I mean? Fucking. Yeah, now with the low blow... And you had to take um, a few minutes, seconds, you know, to recoup. Did that affect you at all on how you wanted to? Well, like, it kind of affected my cardio. Like, it was a straight-up up kick heel to the fucking balls. So, that shit hurt really bad. Like, it felt like my well, one of my – it's going to be too much of information. One of my nuts came out of the freaking cup, so I had to, like, adjust it. It hurt. But, like, you know, I knew I was going to get over it and fucking take him out. Is there anything that, I mean, other than that, that you would have wished it was gone differently? Um, I obviously wish my boxing looked better. My I, my boxing looked like shit. But, like, other than that, like, when when you get a finish, um, especially against somebody like that, somebody that talked a lot of shit, uh, you can't really nitpick all the, the downs. I, I haven't really watched the fight back or anything, so obviously, like, I didn't do stuff that I wanted to, but... Um, I finished the fight, so my brother said he had a dream that I put this kid out in the second round, and I finished the kid out and finished the kid in the second round. I didn't put him out, but I finished him. So, you know, Josh, you were right with that one. What can we expect from you moving forward? Um, a rise to the top, man. Anyone, anytime, anywhere. I've always said it. I've always been about it. I'll always be about it. So, you know, respect to everybody, but I'm coming for y'all. If, if you're a 55er, I'm scared of no man. I'm only I only fear God, so you know I'm willing to fight you. And in the future, I'm gonna be a world champion before it's all said and done. So anyone till I get there. Anybody you have in mind? I already said it in the cage, Jerry Muse. But anyone other than that, I don't give a fuck. You know, anyone that people are trying to dodge, I'll fight them. That's how I've always been. So in yeah that was definitely what happened like and you guys can see once i he actually tapped all the emotions came out um i wanted a shotgun a beer in the cage i was a little tired for that so i couldn't go over to mikey and get on top of the cage for that so i'm sorry mikey i'm gonna go see you in the crowd with shock one one in the in the crowd so you know but yeah um my emotions you know They've never been like something that has gotten the best of me too much. You know, I, I do get a little riled up, but like when push comes to shove and when the, when the egos are on the line, you know, I can, I can put that in the back of my mind and, and execute, you know, my, my coaches, they're so they're, they're confident in me for a reason, you know, um, I give them a reason to be confident. So I want to just keep doing that and making them proud, you know. Yeah, well, he knew that he wasn't going to get a team me from the first fight, um, I think, because he, his coaches even said ditch the guillotine while he was going to try to maybe go for it. But, you know, I've been guillotined by Jacob Bone a million times in my life. I've been guillotined by John Pierce a million times in my life. Those are the two best guillotines in the Northeast. If you're not one of them, I'm not scared of it. Yeah, yeah, no, it was it was fun. I was a little tired, so like, yeah, you know, I I didn't give her like, I, I feel I don't really remember the cage fight interview. I was kind of so high on the fucking win, it just kind of happens. <laughs> it was cool though. It was really cool. Yeah, I've talked to him before the fight, and I'm probably gonna talk to. Him, oh, I'm definitely gonna talk to him after the fight. You know, um, he's a cool dude. Like, it's all respect with that one. I, I just didn't perform the way I know I could perform. And I was I, there's a lot of stuff um, outside of the cage that, you know, kind of affected that fight. So I want to get, get it back and give him a real fight, give him a real run for his money. I know he's got a fight with Damian Nelson, but, you know, after he finishes that guy or, or loses, I don't know how that one's going to go. Um, yeah, let's get it. All right, congratulations. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. Are there, are there any of these?